Listen, you're a singer and a musician. If you were going to write a song about your experience here at Miss Universe, what would you call it? Well, you know what, Steve? As a Miss Philippines, I've always felt the love and the support of the Filipino people. And I think I brought half of my country here tonight. And so I would name the song Raise Your Flag because I stand here not as one, but as 104 million Filipinos. Thank you. Working in some of the poorest areas of my country, I found that it was a lack of child support, not poverty, that killed their dreams. A child once told me, Kat, that's just not my life and those dreams aren't meant for me. But I stand here today because someone believed in me and we owe it to our children to believe in them. Kapong ka! nation in the world to make marijuana legal. What is your opinion on the legalization of marijuana? I'm for it being used in a medical use, but not so for recreational use. Because I think if people were to argue, what about alcohol and cigarettes? Well, everything is good, but in moderation. Thank you. Thank you, Philippines. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm bad. Okay, get ready. Here is the question. What is the most important lesson you've learned in your life, and how would you apply it to your time as Miss Universe? I work a lot in the slums of Tondo, Manila, and the life there is very... It's poor and it's very sad and I've always taught myself to look for the beauty in it, to look in the beauty in the faces of the children and to be grateful. And I would bring this aspect as a Miss Universe to see situations with a silver lining and to assess where I could give something, where I could provide something as a spokesperson. And this I think if I could teach also people to be grateful, we could have an amazing world where negativity could not grow and foster and children would have a smile on their face. Thank you. Thank you, Philippines. 